Eric Edberg. I love to play the cello. And I love to improvise. To create music spontaneously. And what I want to talk to you today about is your ability to improvise. Now, if you're like a lot of classical musicians, you probably think you can't improvise. I used to think I couldn't improvise, or that what I would improvise, and perhaps this is the more profound point, wouldn't be good enough. You see, I knew that Bach, that Mozart, that Beethoven, that Franz Liszt had all been as famous as improvisers in their lifetimes as they were as composers. Now, of course, today we don't always know about that because what has survived is their compositions, not their improvisations, which happened in the moment and then were lost. And that's one of the things about improvisations. They exist but for a moment. They're different than permanent pieces of music. Improvisation, um, when we hear the word, especially in America, we usually think of jazz and and. There's wonderful improvisation that happens in jazz. We might also realize that there's improvisation that happens in the music of Northern India. Um, and we might be well aware that many organists, church organists and concert organists uh, improvise. If, if you're familiar with the organ world, you, you probably know this already. Organists, especially in the French tradition, are, are trained to uh, be able to improvise in any form up to and including a fugue. I had a roommate once. Um, who was a fabulous organist who had studied with Marcel Dupre in France, he could improvise a few. He did, uh, you could give him a subject and he'd improvise on it. Well, that, let me tell you, I found it rather intimidating. And it's one of the reasons I didn't improvise. See, I, I knew I didn't know enough about any particular musical language to improvise fluently in that. And I was afraid that I would play a wrong note that my improvisations might not make sense. Then, about 15 years ago, I was going through this really stressful time in my life, and um, I remembered atonal music, music that doesn't make conventional classical music sense, music that embraces dissonance. And I thought, I can improvise in that way, because it's a music that, to some people, sounds like all wrong notes. So I dove right in and I started just playing any note that came to mind. Um, is what I call, and other people sometimes call, self-expressive improvis improvisations. It's expressing yourself through a sound. Any sound. Now on the cello. See? If that's how I'm feeling, that is a way that I can express myself. Now, you don't have to do it on uh, a particular instrument. You can improvise with your voice. Ah! Oh, 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 you can combine your voice in an instrument. Now, maybe that doesn't sound like, like something that you would want to do, but that's fine. That's me expressing myself through the sounds that are coming to my imagination and that I want to make. So, if you're wanting to improvise, but you haven't improvised, or if you're looking for a way to express yourself and you haven't thought about music improvisation, self-expressive improvisation, improvisation that's not bound to one of these particular um, styles or idioms like jazz or Indian music or, or uh, common practice period classical music where there are right notes and where there are wrong notes and where you have to learn a whole musical language to get good at, you can dive right in just playing whatever comes to mind. 
You can think of it as stream of consciousness improvisation. <laughs> yourself with the sounds that spontaneously come to you. Now after I had started improvising for a while, I discovered the work of the wonderful improvising cellist David Darling and the organization Music for People that he co-founded with uh, the flutist Bonnie Insel. And I went to a week-long workshop uh, uh, with David and with Bonnie and with uh, many people in this music for culture, uh, music for people culture. And one of the first things I learned was that they had a saying, there are no wrong notes. And so that is the key to release yourself from the, the fear of playing wrong notes, except this idea, this wonderful idea that in self-expressive improvisation, there are no wrong notes. So, pick up a drum, pick up an instrument, start singing, whatever it is, just let yourself go and make sounds that express yourself. You can improvise. So, remember this, you're wonderful, you deserve to express yourself. Now, go ahead and do it.